Hello my friends, so I have here a newer release deck. This is the Earth Woman Tarot by, I want to say Taryn Ellis. I don't know if it's it, Tarn or Terrace. Um, Low Scarabeo, 78 cards of the book. Let's go ahead and have a look. I have opened it up and taken a peek through it just because I was curious. So here is the guidebook. And of course you've got your different languages. You get a good little bit on each card, just enough in my opinion. I do have sniffles, so please excuse me. Um, here is an author card. There's another one on the bottom. Typical Low Scarabeo decks. Here are the backs, and let's zoom in. Okay, so here are the backs. They are a standard size uh, tarot. No gilding. I would have loved to have seen some gilding. I'm not really sure how I feel about this deck yet. I, um, everybody seems to love the cardstock. Uh, it's just paper. Like, literally, paper. I mean, I don't, I don't know how that would, I mean, one wrong move and you're going to fold it. So, that I'm not sure about. So, I'll give it a couple tries and we'll see so here's our fool um, you'll notice that there's no faces on the characters or people in these cards the magician nonetheless the illustration you know the the imagery the art is, is it's pretty um, but I'm just not sure about that card stock our empress with a big old belly see as you can see we have no faces the Emperor, Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, very Rider Waite inspired, Strength, we have Diversity, we have Body Diversity, uh, Color Diversity, I'm not sure about age because, again, there's no faces. Here's the hermit. You can lightly see the path there. I like the Wheel of Fortune card. It just, like, totally leaves the color <laughs> palette of the deck. But Justice is really pretty. The Hanged One. And I haven't seen every single card. Like I said, I just did a quick skim through them. Oh, whoa, look at this death card. Interesting. Temperance. The devil. I'm very interested in seeing how these shuffle. I can tell, though... I will most likely end up end up folding one of these cards. The tower. Maybe not here and now on the review, but that's how much these cards are paper. There's like no lamination on here. The star. And I love that little bird up in the tree. The stars are really pretty. Again, the um, illustrations are very nice. The moon. The sun, judgment, she's like taking a shower outside, washing away all the old, the world, that's a beautiful world card, there's a stream. That is quite interesting. And here we go into the cups. Ace. Two. 
three, four, five of cups, six of cups. Looks more like kind of like a coven of witches getting together than a six of cups energy to me. Seven of Cups. So, um, very feminine deck, even though there are males in here. Eight of Cups. I really like this Eight of Cups. Nine. Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. Knight, Queen, it's interesting, no faces, and the King. Then we go into the Pentacles. Oh, that's a pretty two of Pentacles. And they are very mad, as you can see, you're not going to get much sheen off them. Very little, but like I said, there's like no lamination on them. Three of Pentacles. Four. Five. Six. Seven. The eight. I like all the little drawings she has done with the Pentacles on there. The nine, again, I love it. All the sunflowers, and then we have a pentacle in the middle. Ten. Page. Knight. Queen. King. And the wands. That's our ace. Two. Oh, that's beautiful. Three. There's our four. Five of wands. I love it. Seven. Our eight. Really pretty eight of wands there. Nine. Our ten. Pretty traditional. I like that. I love the colors. Our page. Our knight. Our queen. And our king. And into the swords, there's our ace, two, three. Oh, she's penetrated right into the heart. Those swords are, hmm. You don't usually see that with a three of swords where the person is actually has the three swords through the heart. I mean, we'll see a heart with the three swords through it, but we don't usually see this. That's a uh, very powerful card there. Here's our four of swords, resting, relaxing. Five. Six. Seven. Sneaky, sneaky. Eight. Our nine, really pretty. On the ten, it looks like these are probably penetrated in her, but you can't really tell. 
the page. I love that page of swords. Wow. The knight. The queen. Wow, is she gorgeous. And the king. And again, there's the backs. So let's lift up the camera and um, let's see how they shuffle. Okay. <clears throat> well, overhand, they're nice and, you know, they, they shuffle nice. They're not sticking together, clumping together, even though they're that matte. It's just, um, I don't know about Riffle Shuffle in this deck. <laughs> it is, uh, Mm -hmm. It's literally paper, guys. Yeah, literally paper. Let's see if I can get a proper one there. Well, if you go easy, I would say maybe you'll be all right. If you have big, giant, long nails, you're probably going to scuff the cards up pretty good. And it's not going to take a lot. Yeah. Hey, hey. Even if you have smaller nails. It's not going to be hard to um, gouge them up. We'll pull a card and look to the book. Can you get uh, jumpers? Mm, I'd say yeah. Yes, we can. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. I'm not going to read through, but you're welcome to in case you're thinking about getting the deck or whatever. Oops. There's the other half. So, that is my review of the Earth Woman Tarot. Um, I don't know. The only negative thing I have to say is the cardstock. It's, it's not great. But um, other than that, I think it's a nice little deck. It looks like it would be an easy reader as well. Actually, let's lay down some cards. Yeah, it looks really good laid down. Again, looks like it'd be an easy reader. I love how there's no sheen on them. So, um, yeah. Earth Woman Tarot. It's one of those decks that it really feels good shuffling this way. It does riffle shuffling too, but um, a little scary. Uh, if you're gentle with the deck, it'll probably last you a long time. If you end up falling completely in love, and this is my humble opinion, if you end up falling completely in love with this deck and um, are a little bit rougher on your shuffling, I would suggest buying a, a backup. <laughs> um, like me, I like to riffle shuffle. I'm not, I mean, I'm not rough with my decks, but I like to at least get one, if not three, ripple shuffles before I get ready to use a deck. Like I said, they're comfortable shuffling. That's why I'm still rolling the video. They shuffle the sideways. Nice and easy. Alright, guys. 
So again, wild, or sorry, I don't know why I want to keep saying wild woman tarot. Earth woman tarot. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Be blessed.